All right, hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to Donut Films. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a quick review on The Flash. Uh, I just came back from an early screening of it, so unlike everyone else watching, you gotta you have to wait to see it. But I'm going to be talking about spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie, just click off now. But if you don't want to hear spoilers, this is going to be really good for you because goddamn, this movie had a lot of shit in it. It's had a lot of multiversal cameos and Nicolas Cage, fucking Christopher Reeve, fucking so many things happen in this movie. You see so many cameos. Adam West, I'm pretty sure, was in it for like a couple seconds. Uh, yeah, this movie is really good. I wouldn't say it's the best superhero movie ever made. It's not. They are hyping it up a lot, but this is the biggest DC movie ever. This is the multiverse DC movie. This is what we've been waiting for for years. We're finally getting it. Wait, it's just such a shame that DC is getting reset. It's so annoying, but this is what we're going to have to deal with for now. Um, James Gunn, he's a bit of a prick. Fuck that guy. He's, he's kind of a scumbag. I know he did Guardians of the Galaxy and all that, but... Yeah, not a good man. <laughs> uh, but The Flash, it was really good. Ezra Miller, you know, he's done some bad things. He's kind of a scumbag too. He's a rapist apparently, groomed kids. But in the movie, as an as an actor, I think he did a good job. Even, you know, his younger version of himself that he's playing. It was a bit annoying at the start, but I think the reason he was so annoying is like to show the audience, you know, how he's grown in between movies, even though we haven't really seen that growth. Yeah. I, I like the opening. I like the opening of the movie with Ben Affleck, Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot comes back. It felt like, you know, we should have gotten this f fucking five years ago, but, you know, DC has been very, like, disconnected uh, for years now. But, yeah, this is a movie I've wanted for ages. I've wanted this ever since I heard about it in 2021 and it started filming. We got S Sasha Kaye as Supergirl. She's fucking hot. <laughs> She's pretty good. Uh, a bit edgy, a bit cringe, you know, with her acting, but... Um, spoiler alert, she fucking dies. Wasn't expecting that. I'm pretty sure the original ending, she was meant to stay as the new super Superman of the DC universe, but obviously that's not happening. Michael Keaton dies too, which uh, I, I didn't really feel anything because I thought they were going to bring him back, but he died. <laughs> My childhood just died in front of me. I didn't feel anything because I know they could have gone back in time and saved him, but they didn't. So that's, that's it for that universe. Uh, Dark Flash was... Not really a villain. There wasn't really a villain. General Zod was basically the villain of the movie. I guess fucking Barry Allen is just the villain because he, he's the one destroying the timeline and all that. But yeah, there's a lot in this movie. Uh, most of it you haven't seen in the trailer. So like the trailer isn't really showing that much. It did spoil a lot of Michael Keaton. I feel like if they didn't show most of that in the trailer, it, it would have been like a, a bit of a surprise to see. But nah, they kind of spoiled most of it. So... That's kind of disappointing. I was kind of disappointed with, with what they did with him and stuff, and he's not coming back, I don't think. Uh, he died. So, yeah, this is... I, I say around the end is where I kind of started to think, wow, this is kind of sad. I wish, you know, things didn't go the way they did with, uh, you know, Walter Hamada and Peter Saffron and James Gunn. It's really disappointing, but this is the last good DC movie I think we're going to get for a really long time. Uh, go see it. Let's make this get a billion dollars. This needs to make a billion dollars in the box office. It needs to fucking explode. This is one of the best superhero movies ever made. Period.